Technology extends a hearty and cordial welcome to everyone gathered here for the inauguration of the first year BE BTEC programs for the academic year 2015-2016. Meditation is a dissolution of thoughts in eternal awareness of pure consciousness without objectification, knowing without thinking, merging finitude and infinity. We now request the gathering to meditate for a minute. We tend to use prayer as the last resort, but God wants it to be our first line of defense. We pray when there's nothing else we can do, but God wants us to pray before we do anything at all. Now, may we all rise for the invocation. Prabhu Ganapati Paripurana Valvarulvaye Prabhu Ganapati, 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 Sarndu vanangi thudi paadi aadi undan, Sannadi sharan adendu me, Sarndu vanangi thudi paadi aadi undan, Sannadi sharan adendu me, Sannadi sharan adendu me, Sandha sitta sau bakyangal yavayum, Tandarul Sat Guru Niye, Tandarul Sat Guru Niye, Prabhu Ganapati, Paripura Naval Varulvaye, Prabhu Ganapati, Ganapati, Ganapati. Most respected Additional Director General of Police, Tamil Nadu, Chairman, Director, Chief Executive, Principal, Professors, Parents and Students, I congratulate all the students for joining BAIT. On behalf of the management, I welcome all students and parents to our institution. We have the august presence of the Additional Director General of Police, Tamil Nadu, as all know very well, he has held various important positions in Tamil Nadu police and he is a role model for young students. He has authored books like You Too Can Become an IPS Officer, Principal of, Principles of Success in Interview, To Drive the Next Generation to be Successful in the Indian Civil Services. Also, I welcome one of our alumni uh, student belonging to 2009 batch, Ms. Vanmadi, who has been recently got selected in the Indian Civil Services. Her rank is 152 out of 1236, selected during the year 2015. BAIT started in the year 1996, is growing steadily into a research institution. We have now 14 undergraduate B tech programs and 15 postgraduate programs, including MBA. This year, we have introduced a new program on B agriculture engineering. Our teaching learning process is fully changed under the guidance of our Director, as students friendly, we focus on the following aspect, communication skills, foreign language, exposure, Chinese, Japanese, German, French, preparation of students for competitive examinations, interdisciplinary and innovative, innovative, innovative projects, industry training and internship, offer industry specific courses, specific training of product companies, active participation 
in co-curricular and extracurricular activities, yoga for all. On behalf of the management, I wish to inform the students that all support will be provided for your bright future. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We now request our Chief Executive, Dr. A. M. Nadrajan, to introduce the heads of various departments. Good morning for all present here. You all know that for any institution, faculty members are very, very important. The quality of faculty members really helpful for the students in preparing for their future career. In BAT, as our MD was telling, we have got 29 programs. For that, we have more than 450 faculty members. Out of that, 135 faculty members with the PhD, and they are guiding 250 faculty members. In all, at BAT itself, more than 250 people are engaged in research. We are, we, are, we are really very, very happy in introducing our faculty members, particularly our head of the departments. We have faculty members for all the 14 departments, its of departments, and also we have other faculty for languages, yoga, and also for medical health care, counselor like that, we have a full-fledged team of faculty members for the welfare of the students. Now I want to introduce the faculty members to the audience present here. First, I will introduce Professor and Head of the Department of Agriculture Engineering, Mr. Singaravelu. He has got more than 36 years of experience. He is from Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. He Recently, he joined for the new program we started. He has got wide experience at Agriculture University. He has also had training in Netherlands. Next, I will introduce Professor Aeronautical Engineering, Dr. Kannan. He has studied his B.Tech in MIT, M.Tech in Kanpur, PhD in, in Indian Institute of Science, and also had his postdoctoral studies in Canada. He is very much actively engaged in research projects. He is our aeronautical professor. Next, we have automobile engineering. We have Professor Dr. Jagadishwaran. He has got more than 20 years of experience. He did his PhD in BIT Pilani. And he has got wide experience in industry as well as in academia. Next, we have Professor Dr. Ravi Kumar, Professor of Biotechnology. He has got 15 years of experience. He has got PhD, and he is a consultant for many companies, and he has guided four PhDs. Next, we will have Dr. Anusha, our own student, who studied BE in Banari. M.E. in GCT, Ph.D. in Environmental Sciences. She holds membership in many professional bodies and he is very much interested in developing their department. Next, we have Dr. Tangaraj, Professor of Computer Science and Engineering. He has got more than 30 years of experience. And he has, in fact, guided more than 25 Ph.D.s. Now, 12 Candidates are working under him for PhD. And he has got seven funded projects completed for 90 lakhs. And now he has got another five projects worth about 1 crore and 35 lakhs. <laughs> Next we have Professor Dr. S. Valarmadi, Professor Electronics and Communication Engineering. She has got BE, ECE, ME Applied Electronics, PhD in Biometrics. She has got 20 years of experience and she has got about 
uh, 20 research papers, and she has got a city project worth 13 lakhs. She is also guiding PhD candidates. Next, we will have Dr. R. Sindhil Kumar, Professor Electronics, Electrical and Electronics Engineering. He has got 24 years of experience. B.E. in, uh, in Tamil Nadu, uh, Bharatiyasana University, M.E. Annamalai University, and Ph.D. in Power Systems. And uh, he is guiding more uh, completed Ph.D. and guiding seven Ph.D.s. Next, we will have Dr. D. Sharmila, Professor Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering. It is a new branch. Four batch students have completed, and all the people got... Uh, placement under her leadership uh, the department is coming up well she got PhD in wireless security and she has uh, now guiding 11 PhDs one completed and published 54 papers next we will have professor of fashion technology Indrajit he has got a wide experience in industry more than uh, 25 years of industry experience he is BE, ME, and also MBA. And next we will have Professor C. Palni Swami, Professor of Information Technology. And he is the professor in charge of complete you know, automation of this institute. And he has got uh, BE Electronics, ME Communication, PhD in Computer Science, and he has got 17 years of experience, and he has published more than 50 papers. Next, we will have Professor Dr. K. Shivakumar, Professor and Head Department of Mechanical Engineering, a very big department. He has completed a BE, ME, Mechanical, then PhD in Production Engineering at Bharatasana University. And he has got 48 papers for his credit. He has got six research projects. And he is guiding eight PhDs and uh, worth about uh, 64 lakhs. Uh, research projects under his control. Next, we will have Professor K. P. Arul Shri, Professor of Mechatronics. You all know that this is also a recent branch, and he has got more than 25 years of experience. He is PhD in Mechanical Engineering. He has got worth about 25 lakhs DST projects. He has published 25 papers, and he has guided three PhDs. Next, we will have Professor and Head of the Department of Textile Technology, Mr. B. Dhanabal. <laughs> B.E. M.E. in Textile Technology. He has got more experience in industry. 15 years of experience in industry. He is guiding our students uh, for the past two years. Next, we will have Professor Management Studies, Dr. P. Rajkumar. Basically, a BE graduate, then MBA, then PhD in supply chain management, and he has got 21 years of industry experience and 8 years of academia, in academia. And he has got many research papers under his credit. We have Dr. V. Tyagarajan, professor of English and also uh, linguistics, and he is he graduated BA, MA, then PhD in uh, PhD in technical English. It's a different from our normal literature. And he has guided two PhDs and guiding three PhDs. And he's fully qualified, certified officer for big examinations. Under his control, we have faculty members for Chinese language. Japanese language, German language, and also this year we are starting French, and also Hindi. So we have got five faculty members, along with English department, to teach the other languages. We have Dr. K. Sadasivam, Professor of Physical Sciences. He has got more than 17 years of experience. He has guided PhD, two PhDs completed. He has got 16 years of experience. Next, we will have Dr. K. Meghalai, Professor, Head of the Department of Mathematics. She has got 25 years of experience. She has got PhD in fuzzy systems. And under her control, all the students, you know, 
Uh, they will be undergoing one important lab this year, math lab, and we have introduced this uh, uh, new lab we are in introducing in our first year in math itself. Next we will have Dr. Parishutaraj is a professor in charge of library. He has got more than 40 years of experience. He's got PhD in library sciences. He is in charge of our library. You all know that you have seen that library. He is the person in charge of the library. We have Dr. R. Jairaman, PhD in physical education. He has got about 15 years of experience. He is responsible in coaching the students in extracurricular activities. Next, we have Dr. Amirtavalli, another physical directress. She's done her PhD in yoga. She is responsible in training our students, particularly the girl students, under her control. We have Mr. Ranganathan, Hindi teacher. Yeah, more than 300 students are studying Hindi, particularly the textile students, fashion technology students. They are very much interested in learning textile, uh, sorry, Hindi language, in addition to their curriculum. Uh, so he is responsible in training our students in that language. Next, we will have yoga teachers. Sudalai Das. Now we are making this year for all the students yoga compulsory. Under the guidance of our earlier Temple of Consciousness, we are actually taking up the training for all the students, all the 1,700 students, and we will be having 75 hours for the yoga program. So under their guidance, with the guidance of our all year people, we will be taking up this program this year. It is a new introduction. I think all the students, first year students, will be benefited by the, under the control of uh, Sudalikdas and also Sampurna Lakshmi. She is also in charge of yoga, completed her MA in yoga, and she is also helping Sudalikdas uh, in that yoga programs. In the morning, we will have yoga classes. Evening also, we have got yoga classes. And this club is also very active, yoga club. And we have a very important uh, cell known as the placement and training cell. Under that placement cell, we have six faculty members under the leadership of uh, Sri Ram. Since he is not available, I am introducing another officer, Sukhdev. He is the person in charge of placement. You all know that placement is very, very important for the students. At the end of four years, the student who leave this campus must have minimum one job. That is our motto. So we are training our students in all respects, in core engineering as well as in IT companies, and also for competitive examinations. And also we are now thinking of introducing intensively for entrepreneurship. This is our motto. So we train all our students from first year onwards on entre entrepreneurship or IT companies or core engineering or for higher studies. You all know that Banar Yaman Institute of Technology is an autonomous institution. We have got our own examinations. We have controller of examinations, Mr. Danabal. He has got more than 35 years of experience in teaching as well as in this examination system. Next, we will have Mr. Pugalendi. He is the campus manager, retired officer from police service, superintendent of police, and he is with us for the past two years. He is helping us in all respects in maintaining the peace in the campus. Next, we have Dr. M.S. Soundarajan. He is our doctor responsible for taking care of health of all our students. He is a residential doctor, fully available in the hostel and also available in the quarters. So all the 24 into 7, the doctor is available for the help of the students. Next, we have Dr. Anita. She is responsible for taking care of the health of our girl students. She is also available in the quarters. 24 to 7, she is available in the campus. 
Next, we have Baswaraj, Assistant Manager, Boys Hostel. He is in charge of taking care of the amenities, facilities, and all the other controls in the hostels. You all know that in the hostel, there are about 4,000 plus students living, and they are taking care of the hostel maintenance and welfare. And next, Mr. Murugani, he is the person responsible in preparing the food for all the 6,500 students every day. <laughs> he is our manager, hostel facilities, and any problem, anything you have about the food is there, and definitely he will solve your problem. People are very, very happy, students are very happy, and he is looking after the maintenance of the mess and preparation of food, everything in a good condition. You will appreciate, you will realize the, the way it is maintained in the kitchen and the hostel, dining hall and all that. I am very happy in introducing all the faculty members. We have introduced only about 25 faculty members. We have 450 faculty members, all well qualified with these few words. I am very happy in welcoming all. Thank you very much. And one such legendary leader is our chairman, Thiru S. V. Balasubramaniam. May we now request our beloved chairman to deliver the presidential address. Banariyaman Puriyil Kalluriyil Hiranda Ayurthi Painayandam Andu Mudal Andi Le Sendirikum Maana Virali Varuver Pumotan Nadaivin Inda Inda Vilaverke Thalame Vinundi Raka Vari Purindu Siraputukundirkum Madir Vikuriye Tamil Nadu Coastal Security Group Additional Director General of Police Dr. C. Silendir Babu or Le Manariaman Kaluriki Perimai share kira bagi ialah, engkau orang dia kaliurian murnal manavi, terpulang dari dua air ti pahinda mande ayes terbule terbetul petre, aman derkom anber kuriya selvi, wan madi awal kali, nama tu kaliurian arangga awal rom banari aman sakkeri alenum. Managing Director Ayerik Indra, Thiru Sarvana Navarale, Munnal Ayee Sadiyariyum, Indra De Namudiya Kalluri Indriya Arangaalarum Director Maha Savi Puri Indra Madhupe Kuriya Savodhar Dr M P Vijay Kumar Navarale, Kalluri In Chief Executive Dr Narraj Navarale, Kalluri In Mudalvar Dr Sarvana Navarale. Wanakatukuriya, perasriya permakale, permikuriya, petorgale, anbukuriya, manawa cilungle, patir kitori, nirbukale, umgal anuerukum, anade kala wanakite terwitikurile mikya maigilcari inren. Oru nalla negilce nadekile, oru nalla manidari nam nenendu parkavendu. Yar ane allar gun teriyo. Unggul kagwe, mana orang kagwe tanwal nalarium, nanti nuriya, nalaran kagwe tanah dewal nalarium, kuyen deh lachi engel, in deh, badatin, firmiye ulat terk, unitiru mana teru, Dr Abdul Kamal abrali nama. Indah tanah ini tule, nenek tu baca bentuk, unggul kagwe atau padu betul. Awal itu um vali berindah personal assistant, awal um orang engineer dah, ajan Paul Singh awal um bende 
டாக்டர் அப்துல் கலாம் அவர்கிட்ட கேட்டார் உன் வாழ்க்கையில் நீ என்னவா ஆகணும்னு நினைக்கிற என்னவா உன்னை பற்றி எல்லோரும் தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும்னு நினைக்கிற அப்படின்னு கேட்டபோது அவர் கேட்டார் நீங்கள் என்ன நினைக்கிறீங்க உங்களை வந்து குடியரசுத் தலைவராக எல்லோரும் பார்க்க வேண்டுமா அல்லது பெரிய விஞ்ஞானியாக பார்க்க வேண்டுமா இல்லை பொக்ரானில் அணுகுண்டு வெடிப்பதற்கு காரணமாக அந்த விஞ்ஞானியாக பார்க்கணுமா இல்லை அக்னி பிருத்திவி ஏவுகணங்களை வானத்தில் செலுத்தியவராக உங்களை காண வேண்டுமா இல்லை கவிஞராக காண வேண்டுமா எழுத்தாளராக பார்க்க வேண்டுமா என்று அவர் பி அவர்கிட்ட கேட்குறப்ப அவர் என்று சொன்னார் நான் ஆசிரியாகத்தான் என்னை பார்க்க வேண்டும் எல்லோரும் என்று கூறினார்கள் அது மட்டும் இல்லை அவருடைய விருப்பம் என்ன அவங்களுடைய விருப்பம் என்ன அப்படின்னு கேட்டப்போ நான் மாணவர்களிடையே பேசிக்கொண்டிருக்கலையே எனக்கு இறப்பு இருக்க வேண்டும் என்று அவர் கூறினார்கள் அந்த வகையில் அவர் நினைச்சவனுடைய இறைவன் பிரகாரம் அவர் ஐஐடி சிலாங்கில் ஐஐடி மாணவர்களிடையே பேசிக்கொண்டிருக்கிறே அவர்கள் விண்ணுலகை அடைந்தார்கள் அவ்வளவு பெரிய மனிதருக்கு நாம் நம்முடைய மௌனி அஞ்சலி ஒரு இரண்டு நிமிடம் செலுத்துமாறு உங்கள் அனைவரையும் எழுந்து மௌன அஞ்சலி செலுத்த வேண்டும் கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறேன் Thank you. Please take your seats. In the first time, we are going to talk about the additional DGP. We are going to talk about the doctor Abdul Kalam. We are going to talk about the doctor Abdul Kalam. We are going to talk about the doctor Abdul Kalam. We are going to talk about the doctor Abdul Kalam. அதிக கொள்கையிலே மாணவர்களிடையே தன்னுடைய அவர்களுக்கு ஒரு வழிகாட்டியாக இருந்திருக்கின்றவர் தான் நம்முடைய இன்றைய பிரதம விருந்தினர் அவர்கள் அவர் நிறைய புக் எழுதியிருக்காங்க அவர் அக்ரிச்சல் காலேஜில் பாஸ் பண்ணாலும் ஐபிஎஸில் பாஸ் பண்ணி ஐபிஎஸில் பல்வேறு ஏன்னா வெறும் பாஸ் பண்ணுறது மட்டும் இல்லை அவருடைய